Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Northern TCG. I have Tinnitus. And Bragio. I have Tinian. I don't actually. <laughs> I've, I've always... Mop. 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 How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, it's a good question. Well, it's not a great question this week, to be honest. I didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> None of us did. Our locals oh, yeah, have been closed yeah. specifically for the times that, lo- that locals is on for the past two weeks. Uh, for the past week. Yeah. Not ideal for the activities of playing the children's card game. No. I looked at Master Duel this morning and went, open 30 packs. 30? Quote you... page. Yeah. Why are you going in so hard? That's not... To get 30's not hard. Bon- bonfires. It's only 3,000. I had like 10,000 gems. Okay. 10,000 gems. That's all your, um... I got two bonfires for my 30 packs and was like, yeah. that's the rest. Craft the third bonfire. Go. Yeah. Fair enough. I didn't pull any bonfires. I got Banshee though. That kind of counts. But we'll get to that. You still haven't worked out a uh, effective rank 4 engine to get you to the card that you Paralexi. want to search off Banshee. But anyway. Parallaxy. Hmm. Yeah, but you got to draw it. Exactly. I mean, you have to draw a lot of cards in order for most things to yeah, work. Yeah, true. Maybe. Maybe you're right, Jake, with Perhaps. drawing cards is the key to winning this game. Mm. But I want it all to be searchable. That's Out- Bonfire. Outside of that, we've all been messing around with Edison. Yep, yep. I finally got... Sorry, that's actually your week. You didn't you. Oh, our this week. became I a collective think... because oh, there yeah. wasn't really a our week, week. Yeah, no one really had a definitive week, so it's now our week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yes, ours. Uh, Glad beasts are uh, somewhat together. A lot of problems. I. It's interesting looking at the old decks through current day stuff, where it's like, oh wow, this this is actually where it's totally getting bogged down. Not like back then. It's like, oh, I'll just put in some more stall traps or control stuff. It's like, oh. No, if I just... These are actually the problem. If I just go across to Prisma and just spam Prisma, surely that's the way. And I feel like that's why there's such a big change between previous Edison decks of the day and the Edison decks of now, because you have the lens of, like, current knowledge to be like, oh, this is actually terrible. Also, you can kind of look at it when, like, you see the basic ban list that comes out after this then shapes... kind of shapes future meta and then future innovations into decks that mostly already existed within the format and it's like you can just play that works pretty fucking well mm. hindsight do be in fact be 2020 uh ancient ancient fairy dragon is in edison right i'm not I'm crazy. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so therefore fiendish chain is no list run fiendish chain it's a monster negate at a time where monster negates are pretty hard to come by yeah so I wonder if we'll start seeing... I wonder how the meta for Time Wizard formats will develop after that. Bragg's going to put in Fiendish Chains to stop my gadgets. Yeah. Normal summon gadget effect. Fiendish Chain? Oh. Yep. Loot closed. Unless he has another one. If, Too bad. I hard uh, drew three. Yeah. Oh, f- fucking gadgets. They do nothing, but somehow everything. Yeah. Oh, just adding another one to hand so you can discard it with Fortress. Oh, this deck is so good. Always fucking having Fortress. something else. There's always Fucking something else fortress. to and that, Why does that card... Why can it discard itself? <laughs> and that's why every other card senses if it was there, or even if not. <sighs> Fucking bastard. And then it has two other effects as well. Yep. Like, the beginning not, of yeah. every card has to have three effects to be considered good. Going, so I can't target it. No, you I can target You lose a card. Right, you're up to card. Yeah, yeah, but you can't, so you can't target it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, set five. Now I try and target Oh, and just in typical uh, Fortress fashion, it's not even an activated effect of like discarding a card. It's just like, are you pointing to me? Everything's fine. Give me a card. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Fucking fucking hate that card. Uh, Anyway, um, I guess for my Edison deck, the issue is going to be getting the cards because no one in our circle has the Dimension Alchemists that I want to be able to build the Edison deck. Oh, so they weren't in the box? No. Yeah, there's I've definitely have a, f- a couple around, but not enough to commit to your needs because card just doesn't exist. Dimensional really? reprint soon. I mean, oh, and Shade Warrior amazing. Tyro, which we will get to with the legality stuff. You did put the legality mm, stuff. In yes, there, yes, I did. Cool. Kind of. Well, we'll Dandelion. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm just alluding to future things that we're yeah. going to talk about. Yeah. 
So, uh, moving on to some news. We start with the OCG this week uh, as their uh, quarterly ban list was mm. updated, uh, I think literally hours after our last recording. Uh, so, we knew it was going to be coming. Yeah, but, like, yeah. I think it was a, a case of, again, we did it earlier, and because of that... But and we, we also knew we were going to our ban list. We did it early, but, like, we didn't get it for another day and a half because we knew even if we waited, we weren't going to get it. Because for some reason they released it at like midnight for us. Yeah, how inconsiderate of the OCG? No, they're only two hours out of our time zone, so they're still releasing it at like 10 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah. Like they're very dedicated to their work. They were there until all hours of the night testing, theory crafting. Mm. If, that was, if that was the case, that would act like. But no, it's all printed in a magazine, so. Yeah. <laughs> Then, speaking from a uh, marketing point, it was that they couldn't get the copy approved in time and they had to call people up and be like, look, I know we missed the deadline by five yeah. hours. I really need this in the next copy. <laughs> we need to change this. The last little one. Mm. <clears throat> so, uh, coming into effect as of April... Oh, God, what have I done? Uh, coming into effect as of April 1st, uh, the OCG ban list will be as follows. Uh, so, banned cards. None. Limited cards. Title, having gone from forbidden to one. Wanted, seeker of sinful spoils, gone from three to one. There can only be one, gone from two to one. And what then, was Tika with two? Because yeah, they were like, that's this what is the problem. Like. Yeah, but two. There can only be two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that card should have come out with a limit on it. Yeah. Just for the, just for the funnies. I would have respected them more. But here we were, suffering for what felt like an eternity of three of that motherfucking card. You can only win one, but it's a continuous spell. Do you take that? Continuous spell? Yeah, because yeah, I know it's there then. Oh, cool. Okay. The thing of like, oh, you start to make plays of a single archetype and they go, <laughs> Stop. Bastards. One. Anyway, uh, semi-limited. We have Ib the World Chalice Justice here. Mm. Uh, SP Little Knight, gone from three to two. Doesn't make sense. But also, neither does Ib going to two. They, these are both three or one cards. Correct. Yeah. Ib, arguably, or depending zero. on the deck that you're using it in. No. It's a three or one card. Like, it can be a three. You'd still probably only play it at, at two one. at most. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, Fire King Kieran, gone from three to two. Uh, Snake Eyes Ash, from three to two. Mm -hmm. Kaiser Colosseum from three to two. It's it's becoming a problem. Just oh no, yeah, they should just straight out kill it. There's more than just that have started to become a problem. In, yeah, in the OCG. like it's it it shouldn't be around more. I guess just people picking up copies or whatever. There has to be a reason why no one, not everyone's running it because it is a good card. You play it in Tempai Dragons and you just like, ha! Oh, ooh, yeah, ooh. yeah. Whoopsie Daisy. Yeah, that I won. Is, My that bad. Is a problem. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Um, and then Pot Extrav having gone from three to two. So if they're hitting extra, why hit Little Knight? Making no sense. No. And what? Wait, no. Which one am I thinking of? Prosperity. Have they yes. hit Prosperity as well? Yes. Is it a two or one? It's a two. Two. Oh. Okay. Ew. This does remind me of those, oh, like the pre uh, TCG takeover where there's just heaps of random shit at two for ages. It's like, I don't know why you're at two. TCG hate that shit. They hate cards at two. Two Vampire Lord. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then Unlimited, we have Gisu, my boy, having come from two back to Unlim. Yeah. Uh, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, two to three. Bride of Amrissi, two to three. Infernity Launcher, two to three. Change of Heart, two to three. <laughs> That's scary. And then finally... Most shockingly of all, Summon Sorceress from Forbidden to 3 with an errata. There was a rumour around this as well, so whoever whoever had that rumour out... I don't think it was a rumour, I still just think it was literally in a magazine oh, okay. that said, hey, we're doing this. But everyone was like, oh, oh. it's unconfirmed, it's unconfirmed. It's like, it's no, in no, a no. fucking magazine! Yeah, no, so it was more than that. I remember what it was now. It was in the um, official rule book that they printed. Yeah. Oh. They had a ruling specifically about Summon Sork, and they're like, yeah. oh my god, they're bringing it back. And yet, like, <laughs> like you said, 
It's not just like, oh, like Steve's heard it from his mate's cousin's right. ex-wife. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's right it's there. It's <laughs> literally black, black yeah, and white. I never looked into it. I'm like, oh, we should put, if that was a room, I was keen to look into it and see if we got a new source. But no, oh well. Uh, yeah, cards are right now. Yeah, so um, what it used to do before was summon a card as one effect and then target a card and summon something of a, the same thing from deck as a second effect. It used to do what... It now does what I thought it originally did when the card was originally printed. Yeah. No, like, it was m way more busted before. No, no, no. No, no, but what like, we thought. When it first got announced in Japan, mm. this is the effect we thought it did. Yeah, right. So yeah, um, the summon to the opponent and the summon from deck are all now included in one effect. Um, but it's more restrictive now as far as I'm can aware. Like You give it, your opponent the monster and then you summon from your deck. Yeah, like they're not and too... Then it locks you to that... Attribute. Yeah, whatever you summon from deck, uh, you can't summon uh, monsters of the same original type. You, can only, you yeah. can only summon that type locks you. for the rest of the turn. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's more than fine. Still toolboxes at your deck. Yes. Um, material's still the same as well. Two non-token monsters of the same type, which is, again, very easy. Yes. So that one, uh, as far as I can tell they haven't put a date as to when it's this comes in it just yeah comes in with the errata assumed yeah. that people will know in what it's doing the database it's japan they'll get that shit reprinted like immediately yeah more than likely pretty efficient that um, Speak mm -hmm. i was gonna say thoughts on the ban list but oh well yeah by all means it's a perfect konami ban list <laughs> lots of cards going to two that don't need to go to two uh lots of half scared consistency hits and the card that was obviously going to the one went to one yeah. And Max C they, just they, still. Yeah, Max C's... Fucking hate that card. It's fine. Hmm? You don't have to have someone physically play it in front of you, so it just doesn't matter. For now. Uh, speaking of, uh, Master Duel have also released their newest ban list. This one's coming into effect as of the 8th, 11th of April. Still confused that they limited the floodgate? Yeah, so uh, Performer Power 5 Rainbow Magician going to one uh so even though they have much better locks that they can perform this was um chiefly branded with oh. sending this off of albion and then it's affecting grave puts itself in the scale okay you also play this as an out to um what's that what's that like? it's about every samurai yeah i was gonna say samurai you just play it and you win because they have no out true very true so yeah, uh, yeah, just making it even harder to beat that. Every but that's time okay. I've had that card dropped on me in Master Duel. I've been like, okay. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna do this and and I win. Thank you. Yeah, but correct me if I'm wrong. But before Snake Eyes was out, you were playing six M, right? I oh, played that for not six M. Four weeks. Heavy Sam. But I never ever had that come up against me. True. Um, so yeah, that's a one. Uh, Semi limited. Kashira Unicorn and Kashira Rebirth. Probably could have all gone to one. Well, Fenrir is already a one. Yeah. So I feel like they want the deck to keep going a little, but they want to like start giving people the hint that like they'd like them to stop, please. They're good cards. Also, Unicorn and Birth specifically were being used as like buffers to Snake Eyes, being that they're still missing the OTK cards. Yep. Yeah, it's just three good bodies that can damage and interrupt hand traps and just do a million things. They're great. Yep. Why do they exist? Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Wagon going to two. That's fine. Just, just a mild consistency hit. And the Deer's Servant. Wagon. <laughs> the Deer's Servant going to two. Uh, not to because, because Dogmatica specifically were doing well, but because all the Floodgate decks were using it. Yes. This is another understandable hit. Mm -hmm. And then coming to three, we have Pearly Pretty Memory. An Armageddon Knight. The Armageddon Knight's strange. The pretty memory is also kind of weird. They're like, oh, maybe we hit this too hard. Well, yeah, pretty. We'll roll it back pretty's pretty's. a little bit. Yeah. We, have, we haven't even gotten the pretty card yet. The pretty Xyz. Have no, we? they haven't. No. I don't even think it was in the Another card new that's been out thing. for, what, nine months? A while, yeah. It's really odd. But yeah, let's get into that now. So as of yesterday, today? What day is it? Yesterday. 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 Uh, we have a bunch of new stuff having been released for Master Duel. 
Uh, so we've got a bunch of sleeves, which no one cares about, a bunch of backgrounds that no one cares about, a couple of bundles, um, which, again, not many people care oh, about. Wait, what, 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 what are we getting? Uh, Just quick, quick, quick. So they're both 10-pack ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One gives you assets for Magicians of Bonds oh, and Unity, yeah. and then the other one is for uh, Felgrand. Okay, yeah. But wait. you get one SR guaranteed with the 10, which is Wait, the cool. good Felgrand or the bad Felgrand? That Felgrand. Oh, damn. Yeah, not the Xyz Felgrand, the main deck one that's yeah. like the turn after it was sent to Grave. Yeah. The Peter Pooh one, not the cool one. Yeah, not the cool one. The one that would be great in Edison. Yeah. If only. And then we get, I think, is it, yeah, just the one new pack. Uh, so this one is called Blazing Arena. Uh, so even though it refers to fire, yeah, and there's a lot of fire cards of in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's notably two fire cards <laughs> that aren't in here <laughs> for reasons I don't understand. <laughs> Actually, sorry, exist? three, three fire cards that aren't in here. Uh, the two for the firemen and the salad. link for salad. Oh, there's also, the, and also, there's the a bunch one. of other salad cards. Yeah, the, 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 also, no one, no one cares about. But the battling boxes are in it, so it's from the same jewelers pack. So they yes. very much should have been in this pack. They're yes. very much just avoiding. It. And also the full armored XE stuff are very much water monsters. Yeah, yeah, uh, very, very much waters. Um, so what is in here, as Bragg said, battling boxes, uh, the full armor, Xyz, uh, Unchained support is in here, uh, Bonfire, the uh, Banshee that can search Snake Eyes stuff, but rarely does, because no one does that. Uh, anything else? They will. <laughs> I mean, sure. Um, and Volcanics. Volcanics were yeah. also in there. Um, and some fish things for reasons. So uh, they are blatantly ignoring. Well, yeah, it's blatantly they things, are yeah. petrified of firemen doing well in Master Duel. No idea why. And salad. The deck is bricky enough that in, in best of ones, it's not that amazing. In fairness, I'm petrified of salad doing well because cybers have so much going for them. Like the only thing they addressed in cell uh, in cybers recently was um, the light math mech going to one. Hmm. It's a good hit. It's not. Is it a bad now? Well, it's bad for us, isn't it? No, no, you're thinking of the wrong light one. Oh. Not, There's another one? Not circular. The one that's like summon one back on normal summon. Oh, yeah. The yeah, one yeah, that yeah. creates the negate for yeah. the Xyz. Uh -huh. They yeah. limited that one. That's okay. Circular is still at three. That's okay. Well, that's my rank four engine. Yes. <laughs> so you've been searching all this time and a master is there. Yeah. And glittering lights. It doesn't even lock you. It's so dumb. Oh, <laughs> it makes me so angry. <laughs> yes. Just take out all the crash cards, put that shit in. Off you, off you go. Fucking... What about your rank seven engine? Yeah. It doesn't. Well, search. that's actually the <laughs> How many dragon rulers do we have in master? All of them. Yeah, they brought all of them back and then released a special pack for you to buy them. Okay. I tried stuff with so it. So I can mix it with bang. cash. Yeah. I can try and make people that have. work. Yes. Those people are inspired by me. Because I spoke they, about this a month ago. They were doing it months before. Like when that pack no, that I mentioned no. was out. Yeah, no, yeah, they yeah, weren't. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Also, you've only talked about cash dragon lords last week. Dragon lords. I've never spoken about cash dragon lords. Yeah, where my dragon lord archetype? Well, yeah, expanding out from... Well, that's kind of what the Felgrand shit is. Yeah. Yeah, one more, though. I, I, it's always been shit. We you wanna... to the Dragon Lords. Yeah. That's a good card. Yeah, it's... For Felgrand. Yeah, I know. But that's it's, it. And it's only <laughs> ever in every other deck. Not... Look at Yeah. <laughs> Don't get it started. I hate apparently. Felgrand. <laughs> um... I'm not exactly sure what pack this is for the uh, OCG, but they have released... Not pack. No. They have released, or will be releasing, not a pack. new Light Fiend target for Unexpected Die. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess technically it's worse than the one that we already have, but it's more accessible because it'll be newer. Uh, this one is level 4 Light Fiend, uh, zero attack and defense. It's called Pity. I wonder what the TCG will change it like they did White Dustin. Those bastards. Uh, so this one, lore-wise, it's got a cute little foxy thing uh, in like a bauble with a cap on it. Um, but it says that you can never ever release it. So it's like a homunculus kind of thing. 
Once again, the TCG will ruin the law. <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> Uh, also, coming out in the Infinite Forbidden, we get the newest piece of support for Voiceless Voice. It's another continuous trap. Uh, this one, if a non-ritual is destroyed, special summon the Skull Guardian from hand or deck, uh, and then you can send it to the graveyard, target a ritual monster you control, and it gains attack equal to the total original attack of all other face-up monsters currently on the field. So oh. it gives them no TK line, I guess. Well, yeah. Not that they don't already have that, being they can just summon two massive ritual monsters. Yep. With two 40-50s, you find game pretty quick. I guess it's nice just to have another trap target if, like, you've opened the one. Yeah. 40-50 or 41? Yeah. Oh, there's a 50 in there. That's all that matters. Uh, and then, just briefly, we had a quick update to some rules here in the TCG. Um, for Europe. For Europe. For Europe and Oceania. Uh, so, basically, it's letting us know that all cards introduced to Speed Duel in Speed Duel GX Midterm Destruction uh, cannot be used in official matches in Europe, the Middle East, Asia, and Oceania. Confirming yep. that we are just not receiving the product. <laughs> that Adelaide Locals is really going to be sad. Poor oh. Adelaide Locals. Yeah, uh, it's a bit disappointing, like that... And we're going to have to sit through a whole bunch of promotion for it for the next few months on, y like on YCSs and just not have yes. it affect us. Oh, well. oh that means the, the, secrets are going to be, like the secret sack armors are going to be American print. They're going to be ugly. Exclusive. But then again, they're speed jewel print. So have we seen speed jewel American cards? I don't think I don't I've ever think seen one. It's dark. Hmm. Huh. Anyway. It's all right. We're never going to see them anyway. Yeah. Because I doubt you'll want to pay like the fifty dollars that someone will ask for one. Because they know people will be looking for them. I do want a good hollow sack armor. We mm. did also have an update from the uh, OCG rulings on their database. Mm. Uh, no white people are allowed. Oh <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no Poor white wh people. Why? <laughs> Poor white Dustin. Poor white Dustin. Well, he's he's not a people. He's the dust on. Oh, you tell him that. He looks pretty happy. Yeah. Dust ons can't be happy. Only people be happy. <laughs> people and dogs. He thinks he's people. <laughs> Look, some people might view it as problematic, but I do appreciate Japan's just ability and just to go, no, we're not, this is too difficult, no. It is becoming a little concerning that it's, in Japan, it's becoming a bit more common for places just to be like, oh, having, not having white people here for three years was kind of nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not allowed in here anymore. <laughs> yeah, but tell that to their economy. Oh, yep. Yeah, again, I think I've mentioned this to you before, but I remember watching the Trash Taste podcast ages ago. Is that what it's called? Yes. And, like, people have suggested to Japan specifically for ages, like, if you just opened up more to tourism, you'd be able to fix a lot of your declining population, your economy, and they're like, no. <laughs> we don't want to. <laughs> nah, not for we, us. We love our 60-hour working weeks. Get stuffed. On the plus side, they do not have any regulations on owning property from overseas, so... Oh, huh, foreign investment. Yes. Huh. You can't go there and play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, but hey. You can buy a house. <laughs> you can, can buy my own house and run my own locals. Yeah. <laughs> With blackjack and hookers. <laughs> blackjack and hooker locals come when? <laughs> and to this point, I'd like to announce that we are starting a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Patreon will one day own a property in Japan with blackjack and hookers. However, they will be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals, and they will not be interacting in any illegal ways. Donate below. Anyway, uh, so... Hey, yeah, so Shiba Wari Taro is not legal in Europe either. We need that for Edison. Give it to us. Yeah, it's Neither's, still yeah, not printed. Friendship and unity. Yeah, but... Yeah. Unity friendship. But they don't... They, I mean, they don't matter. Taro is actually very usable. But the issue with that, right, is that wasn't it one of his arts? Yes. Yep. It was a... So the estate would have to give permission for it to be reprinted. If they were to reprint it at all. Because they could go down two routes, either get the estate's permission to print it, which would probably be a massive fuck around, or they simply just say, it is now legal 
in which case anyone who has a copy will be able to charge hundreds for it. You know, I... It's not that expensive. No. But that's... It's a surprisingly cheap card. Oh, the, the market of Time Wizard isn't that strong, like... Yeah. And the deck also, I mean, it's relevant, but it's also not that relevant. Like, it's around. Dandelion. Just want to say Dandelion again. We gotta get you American one. Secret, Dandy. I have an ulti. For, from the speed jewel set. Oh. I want the playmat. That's the end. Yeah, that, I don't give a fuck about Maybe all the boxes were on that ship in Baltimore. <laughs> I think they were all. I don't know, wherever Egypt point. Oh, and the. The Cape of Africa. The Horn of Africa. That one. Uh. Yeah. Terrorist the insurgents terrorist. now have a whole Europe, European supply of. Uh, yeah, speed duel. <laughs> they're all sitting there like. Banned in uh, Africa though. Attacks have started to drop slightly. That's because they're all at locals. They're trying to understand speed duels. <laughs> yeah, so like, what do you mean I have to get three zones? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Is this um, the most offensive top line we've ever gone down? Possibly. Yeah. It's a top five. Oh. It's getting up there. Keep in mind, we have had Lachlan and Blake on the podcast, so like the bar's set pretty high. Yeah, it's pretty high. Top 10 most offensive segments we've ever done. Like, it's definitely in our top three. In the top 10 of the entire thing, it'd probably just scrape in. Tune in to watch Mojo for more. This is what happens when local <laughs> doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, we just... I just get offensive. Yeah. yeah. I don't go. Give us locals or we get angry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that. Good idea. Um, so with all this talk of bands and band lists, uh, we have reflected a bit on what we think may happen moving forward in the TCG if we do in fact get a band list. Uh, who wants to start us off? I have my noted down before you fucking say anything. Okay. Um, I'll start us off then. I'm going to be wild with this. I also am still firmly of the belief that we shouldn't have a band list before May. Um, however, we should probably have a band list in May and then it can be a little bit harder on the the hits however we're in an awkward situation where the best deck needs to be reprinted because konami has no way of making money outside of that in this year's mega tins we need to be pretty honest about that like the red last year's set does not have that many cards that can sell sets um like you can put horus in there little knight. but that's not that expensive little knight is your money card um but you need to have some quantifiables to sell sets so i don't think we're going to get a huge ban list um if we get a ban list now I think it will be quite small. However, I'm now going to read you a huge ban list. Um, <laughs> however, very importantly, it doesn't really hit fire. So, here we go. I'm fairly sure I've also forgotten a card that I wanted banned. Um, but, my bans. Uh, I have Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King Calamity. Mm -hmm. And Sanctify Dragon. <laughs> uh, yeah. The two for... Yeah. Yep. Yep. The two decks that compete against fire. Yes. Yep. The cool. two floodgate -y cards, effectively. I feel like I've forgotten a third floodgate -y thing, though, that I wanted banned. That I can't remember what it was. Anyway, uh, moving to Limited. Uh, the last Forbidden Dragon Ruler. Go to Limited. Give us all of them. They could just put them all to three, and no one would give a fuck, but oh. hey, here we are. Um, D Shifter. Limited. Oh, okay. Yes, not banned. Limited. So I think it'd be funny at one. Um, Kieran. Limited? Yeah. If it doesn't one? get limited, it's not getting unlimited anytime soon. Which one? Kieran. Uh, the the Magic Specter Unicorn Kieran. Okay. Not oh. the Fire King Kieran. Kieran Fire King Kieran's not getting limited. Uh. No. No, 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 no. No one's playing that shit anymore. But well, you tell that again, I'm going. Um, feel better. <laughs> uh, Summon Sork, limited, of course. They'll do the little fucking thing with the. Oh, do oh yeah, limited. I didn't have I didn't have that. Um, and last on my limited list, Heat Wave. Heat Wave. Heat Wave Limited. Uh, OCG has just discovered in 10 Fire Dragons, if you just use Heat Wave at the start of your main phase one, you just win. I can't remember what Heat Wave does. Uh, no one can summon a card until your next draw phase. Oh, right. So you just you go, just yeah, win. Heat Wave Pass. Yes. Yeah. You go Heat Wave Pass, <laughs> and if they don't have the side frame to stop you, you win. God, it just spikes. That's be great. actually hilarious. Yes. I bought up the old Good Games stock back when... There was some normal deck where I'm like, oh, this would be sick. Because you can't summon effects, right? Or is it all... Uh, I, I, swear swear I think it's effects, effects monsters. It's effects yeah. because um, Phantasme, Field Spell, Umi bullshit was using it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, Heat Wave to one. Uh, because that card is 
absurd in Tempi Dragon. So if it doesn't get limited, make sure you have your heat waves for your Tempi Dragon deck if you're going to play it. Uh, at, at, at minimum, side deck card if you're going first. You put it in, you activate it, you win. Card. Game over. I will Could say though, it's not around that though. You just, just go into more spell and trap stuff. Yeah. Got to draw it though. Yes. You got to play Battle Faders. You got to draw Heat Wave as well. Battle Faders, everyone. Buy out the secret Battle Faders. Put them in your main deck. Battle Faders and Tempai Dragons. From what I understand, they've got the combo to play around those anti Battle Faders traps now though, so. No idea. Their shit's unaffected in Battle Phase, so. Main Phase. Main Phase? They're only unaffected in main phase. Okay. So that they can establish a board and then go for damage so later. They just normal summon a card anyway and then just go battle phase and win. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, semi-limited. Uh, Sneak Eyes Ash. You could have something. And this is it. That's it, huh? Yeah, you can you can say more than if you want to pull more. Uh, next one, uh, Infernity Launcher. <laughs> Infernity Launcher is semi-limited. That doesn't need to be at one. We just got Archfiend to three and does literally nothing. Put Launcher to two. Go on. What are you going to do? Honorata Firewall Dragon and create an FTK? Off you go. Um, unlimited. Terratop? Mm-hmm. And, mm. and Blaster. Terratop's yeah. a wish list, sorry. Surely. Yeah, for his It went to, it went to two, he can go to three. Yeah. Put it up. Yeah. Off we go. Done. Um, yeah, look, I could, I could see that, but not with as many. I think they will choose at least six from your list. There's some pretty logical picks in there, though. Remarkably, there's quite a few that are similar between yours and mine. Shocking. Well, considering there was no, like, discussion... No, I'm saying they're, they're perfectly logical and reasonable hits. That's why it's shocking. Would you like me to go next, Bragg, or...? Uh... Well, like, so, Calamity... Uh, I want Ash and Oak to not. I don't want Ash and Oak to one, but Ash and Oak to one, and Zalanta's ban. Zalanta's ban? Yeah, I yeah. think that's solid. Uh, yeah, that's about all I have. My list is as follows. What's my phone? I don't think it's, it's the whole. I don't think it's what's going to be the whole thing. I just. <clears throat> I can't. I don't know. I don't understand where they're going. I just. Yeah. Uh, so for bans, I have Calamity, mm-hmm. uh, and I put. Gimmick Puppet Nightmare, because I feel like it's one of those hits that they could do and they're like, see, we, we did the thing you asked for. And then they just Doesn't address the summoning problem. everything else on your board anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they just yeah. put like Dark Barry statue. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. Awesome. Uh, there's a few limits I have. Uh, title. Uh, I also thought uh, D Shifter 1 would be funny. Um, I D Shifter was not even on my radar. Uh, Magic Spectre Kieran. Yes. Summon Limit. Yeah. Yeah. That was a big side card. Yeah. Um, Flame Burst Dragon. Oh. Flame Burst to one is probably a good realistic hit. And it brings the consistency down quite a bit, and you can't use a Flame Burst and have a Flame Burst in the back row. Yeah. Yeah. No backups. Yeah. Uh, That's fine. You just put just put Oak there instead. <laughs> I have Fire King Kieran at one. And Summon Sork, once so they've Literally the organized... only card that you can hit in that deck. Yeah. And Summon Sork, once they've organised how they're going to establish the errata... Stuck in... Ah, here you go. Like, Rarity Collection is coming out. That could realistically be uh... a really good way to push it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Whether or not they talk to each other and put it in the print cycle, that's the question. Yeah, yeah, Another 10pm thing. <laughs> put it in the run! <laughs> it's now an 81 card set. Shocker. Well, last one was 79, right? Until yeah, they yeah, yeah. Some random shit one, in. Yeah, one extra. Just uh, the one. Semi-limits. I have Harp Horror Harp. Sure. Uh, Fenrir. Sure. Change of Heart. Yeah. And Cyframe Delta. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the spell one? Yeah. yeah. So the card that stops Heatwave. Yeah, but no one's... Until you said it out loud, no one knew about Heatwave. People know about Heatwave. And also, they want to sell Tempi Dragon, so why would they not try and hinder the cards that stop people from playing that? Sure. Plus, it was a big side card in the last format as well. Yeah. And I then, think it's a perfectly fair and balanced card. What? Heatwave? No. Delta. Nah. Too many hand traps. Get him out of here. Sure. Sure. And then, unlimited, I have Terratop, Ib World Chalice Justice here. 
And Angel Fairy Dragon. Mm-hmm. That'll put you up to two just to be fucking. I forgot about the fucking Angel Fairy Dragon. Yeah. I've said Ancient Fairy Dragon every list since we got it to one, and they have not touched it. Yeah, what? maybe it's going to be Weldon. So we got, when we got Ancient Fairy Dragon back to one, like a year and a half ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every list I've said Ancient Fairy Dragon to three, and every list that hasn't moved. I'm just like, uh It's a card that is happy with it being on the ban list. Exactly. Like, it, it is a one or a three kind of card anyway. Yeah, it's oh, like hard once per turn now, so like it, yeah. it being two is redundant. Yeah. Like being a one is redundant. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see A, when we get a ban list, and B, how much of this actually gets implemented, because, well, not that the next set's really going to change all that much, like the uh, other than Tenpai. Um, I forgot Tenpai was in the next other set. Other than for Key, a, like, yeah. A, as, for a split second, I forgot Tenpai was in there. My mind was just on Light's one. <laughs> I was like, that's one aren't going to be in the meta. We'll see. Perfect world. They just let it go. Oh, no. Um, they just let it go until Tempai's out and then fix after an event. Yeah. But. Ideally. I, I think we should get this ban list in May. I think we should get this ban list in May and then the next one in September? October? November. No, I was going to go Christmas. You do it, like, <laughs> Either that or you got to do one like now and then do one in June and then you do one in October. You've got to be regular with it or you've got to let it blow out a little. That's not. Why don't they have been dra- drawing up draft ones and just, if it hasn't been signed off, they just, it just lapses? I wonder how many ban lists like that have almost been released that we haven't known about. It'd be very interesting to be there. In the shed with Derek. Um, how do you reckon they hire for the R&D department? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking. Do you know what it is? It's not the kind of thing you see them actively advertising to be like, we need people to come and join Konami in the ban list. Do you reckon they just headhunt people from tournaments? Do you know what I think it is, legitimately? So, um, I remember seeing this thing that like um, animators who were doing a bad job on the Prince of Egypt were sent to work on Shrek. I legitimately think that anyone else who works in Konami that's doing a shit job, they send them to the ban list department. It's just some yeah. basement in the Konami headquarters where the water's dripping everywhere. Like, this is what you get for not making Silent Hill. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway. But, but yeah, that was a fun fact for you. Uh, they didn't think Shrek was that good a performing film, so all of their good people were on Prince of Egypt, and anyone who did a bad job got sent to work on Shrek. <laughs> Prince of Egypt made a lot of money. I didn't mind it as, as a movie. Like, if you compare it to Shrek, it's obviously second. When did you watch Prince of Egypt? Well, was it at school? At your religious school? I mean, I did go to a Catholic school, in fairness. But no, I think I watched it at my religion, religious friend's house. Okay, so I was going to say, it's going to be religion-related. Yeah, well, I didn't go out there going, you know what I'd like to see? Not the next Austin Powers movie. I'd like to watch the, Prince the Moses Egypt. movie. <laughs> I do like the memes that are going around about <laughs> what they were about a couple months ago of like an uh, excerpt of them talking about um, the uh, workers and stuff and they cut the bit where he says slaves so he just says slay <laughs> and then they have the nails going <laughs> it's so stupid <sighs> slay slay um, anyway okay. uh, we didn't get asked any questions this week oh the poll Sorry, we did get asked one question, but it was what we thought of the Summon Stalker Rider, which we've already addressed. Yeah, the I think it's kind of my fault. We'll, I will, there was a bit of shit chat in the podcast questions channel. I think we've gotten lost. So please go there or hit us up on the YouTube comments. We will accept anywhere. Has anyone checked the YouTube comments? I did the other week. Usually we get notifications. It was supportive. Oh, cool. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I don't have access to check it right now. Uh, what would you like to see in Retroprac 3? Uh, 80% of people, so more goat and dragon rules were ignored. Uh, 80% of people want Edison staples. 20% don't want it. <laughs> what, the set in... Yeah. in time? <laughs> okay. I wish we, we could work out who these people were. Sure. If you're one of that 20%, tell me why. Why do you hate Retro Pack 3? It's just great. It's a fantastic set. Oh, do you know... That 20% is random vendors who listen to us and they're like, no, they're It'll buying into our it. stocks. It'll ruin us forever. Collapse my finances. <laughs> How dare they? Uh, 
Do we have a poll for this week? Uh, hmm. What do you want to see, Ben? Oh, our subs went up. Do you own Warwave? <gasps> <laughs> yes, no. Um, Will you be playing it? I'm telling you. Let's do a thing on how long until we actually get a ban list, where it'll be one month, two month, or three month. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good call. Sure. Uh, on the YCS Sydney, um, we had a comment of people asking us to dress up as a Jama trio. Absolutely not. Come on. One of the We few, saw the people there. Like, I suck compared to most people in that room. The one piece of um, pride that I can take away from that event is that I look slash dress better than most of them. So I refuse to go into that room dressing up as anything. But dressing up in a gimmick doesn't also is... Ignores also, those rules. That, are you, that, there was a person there dressed as Ajami Yellow. Yes. Mm. They good. just looked ill. Yeah, well, the Ajamas do look ill. We, do you, wait, hold on. You, you mean ill in a good sense or no, a bad no, no. sense? <laughs> like, like, about to die. Ah, Sorry that's... to that person if they happen to be watching. Come on, come on, it's time to get ill. Oh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> We do. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Please ask us some questions for next week. Uh, favorite if you're on the streams. Like, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Ask us questions. Jump into Discord. We'll catch you then. And peace. Money. <laughs>